Oh, you did. Is it going? <laughs> okay. <sighs> it's so awkward. Okay. Hold on. For what? I'm just getting a better angle. All right, go. Okay, so this is what half a cow looks like, not including 54 packages of ground beef. Which is, this is what the packages look like. We got them in two pound packages because even though there's only three of us who are eating in this house, we like to make large meals so that we have leftovers to get us through lunch and dinner the next day. Um, so we got the 27 packs of ground beef, which is was 54 pounds. We got, I should probably say the price first. Okay, I'm gonna say how much this all was. Um, so we paid the farmer 1890 for the half cow, which was, it was 365 pounds, I believe. And we paid the butcher 477, which is $2,367, which comes out to about $7 a pound. And this is all grass fed meat and very well raised and well taken care of. And if you were, I mean, ground beef at Costco is like $6 a pound. So the fact that this is only $7 a pound for cuts that are worth like $20 a pound minimum, is a pretty great price. And we got a lot of soup bones and marrow bones to make bone broth, and we got 24 pounds of fat. <sighs> um, so I'm gonna go through all of the cuts that we got and choices that I would make differently next time and just give you an idea of what you can get. Okay. So we got um, three packs of rib steaks, or no, just kidding. Yes, three packs of rib steaks, but we gave one to our friend who got us in contact with this um, farmer. We got one flank steak, four New York steaks, and all of our steak packages are um, in threes so that we have enough for our two-year-old and for leftovers when we eat them. We got... Um, five cube steaks we got a whole brisket but we had it cut in half since there's not very many of us eating in this house we got yeah we got two flat iron steaks we only have one because our friend took the other one we have five sirloin steak packs but our friend took two of these also and these are again packs of three we got four tenderloin steak packs and you have the choice between getting t-bone steaks or having them do tenderloin with new york steaks we wanted separate because i don't really like cooking steaks with a bone in them so that's why we decided to separate it um we got seven packs of soup bones again we're going to be using this for broth which i have a video that I'll be posting of that soon. Um, one package of carne asada, which is right here. We got, we only got two packs of broth bones because so many of our cuts have bone in them, which I kind of regret doing now. But whenever we cook the roasts and we have the bones in them, whenever we cook the roasts and we have the bones in them, um, I just save the bones when I cut it out and we put them in freezer bags so that when I make broth, I just add those bones to it. And the same goes for when steaks have bones in them, although I don't think any of these do, but our previous cow order that we got, I just saved all of like the T-bone steaks and add those to broth. Um, next we got two sirloin roasts, which are these two guys right there. We got six chuck roasts which are down there we got six chuck roasts we have 13 packages of stew meat one um prime rib roast which i'm kind of wishing that we had just gotten all these in steaks because roasts are not actually my favorite and we got a lot more roasts than i was expecting um and in terms of the stew meat so we got 13 packages of those I'm going to probably can most of these because that's a, they get super tender and it's just a very easy cut to have canned. 
I'm very forgetful, so I 90% of the time don't remember to thaw meat for dinner, so we're like quickly trying to thaw it. So having canned stew meat will be great. So I'll probably also show a video of that whenever I get that canned up. And we have one tri-tip roast. I don't know where it is. I don't know. It's hiding. There's a tri-tip roast in here somewhere. Um, right here. We got one tri-tip roast. I'm very excited about that. We love tri-tip. Let's maybe, we're going to cork the baby real fast. <laughs> it's fine. Shush. Okay. And then we got two sirloin tip roasts. And we got... Um, what are these ones? Top round rows? Oh, we got two top round rows, and I believe that's everything. So, I did not know when I ordered this, which I tried to ask, but it's kind of hard for them to gauge it. But now I know for the future, and you'll know how many roasts you actually get if you say, like, when they give you the list of your cut options, which I'll post at the end of the video, what our list looked like and what our options were for this butcher, you choose like beef chuck roast and you kind of just check a box. When I checked that box, I expected like two or three roasts, not six, and then like many roasts from other cuts also. So next time I'm gonna be clear that like I want two chuck roasts and then the rest of it can be ground beef because I would much rather have ground beef than half a dozen chuck roasts. So we might end up just buying a meat grinder because then I can grind the fat also, which would be very helpful for making tallow. But, so that's what I would do differently is be more specific about how many roasts I want from each cut, like at the max, if they can't give you a number so that you just know like, okay, I only want two roasts from this cut, if that's how many you can give me. And the rest can be ground meat or like the prime rib roast. We got a couple of steaks out of that. I think I would have rather gotten more steaks than this massive roast. So, yeah, so that is everything that we got. And I think that's it. Um, I highly recommend it because buying in bulk saves you a lot of money and the fact that we only paid a dollar per pound for the soup bone or not the soup bone for the marrow bone and for the fat was only an extra dollar for him to cut it um, some people do it free our last one did it for free but we didn't mind paying that extra because of all that we're gonna get out of it and how much money we still save even paying just like 30 extra dollars for like, those extra cuts that will give us a lot of things. Um, if you want to watch me can up soup bones and the stew meat and cook with quite a bit of these, then please subscribe and follow along to watch how we do that. Thank you for watching. So long story short, make sure that you are very specific about what type of cuts you want, the quantity, the minimum, and the maximum of a certain type of cut that you would be willing to take. And make sure if you're not ordering a whole cow for yourself that you let them know that if the other family doesn't want the bones or the fat from their half of the cow, that you would love to take it. Because that's only like 10 extra dollars if your butcher charges like ours did and you're getting another half a cow worth of bones and fat which is a, an amazing deal. So, and make sure that you don't get as many roasts as I did if you don't like roasts, because it took about three days worth of work to grind, chop, and cook all of this meat 
and not to mention days worth of dishes because I had to cook 21 pounds of ground beef and then vacuum seal it all. So that was a struggle. So make sure you know how many roasts you're getting. And I hope that this video was helpful for someone out there.